Uh, hey folks, and welcome back to uh, Railway Tycoon number two, Platinum Edition. Um, I'm going to start right where I left off um, at the end of the whistle stops and promises. Well, looks like you made some pretty influential friends out west. That's good. Hopefully you learn from them, because you'll need every favor and trick you can muster up for this next doozy. All right, so for this one, I know um, when it says crossing the Great Divide, it probably means I'm going to have to go a bit of a distance. So it's a, I always have this big dilemma between lower track costs and um, getting myself a new train or, in this situation, an increase in speed as well. So 10% increase in speed when we're looking at 30, um, like 30 kilometers, which is probably the maximum consolidation is going to go with six um, carts. It's really going to be an extra three, so I might actually run with... I don't know who manager Van Horn is, but I'm sure he's pretty cool. 6,000 miles of iron rail. hoo <laughs> That's what's going to have to be laid to reach across Canada. Raising the money in the East is just the beginning to completing this Canadian transcontinental. You'll need to keep your crew supplied and on track as the wilderness of Canada will challenge your every step. Your goal is to see a train pulling up to the shipyard in Vancouver. Good luck, and bring your long johns. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get my way to Vancouver, obviously. Um, but the question is from where? Now I'm just gonna fix this up. There we go. Um, so not only do I have to get myself into, um, I'm getting my um, my timer for my, my um, screen recorder coming up, and I didn't want that. Um, it's 1887 and trouble is brewing in Canada. The country is tearing itself apart with a, without a tangible representation of union. I don't really like unions anyway. The Canadian Parliament wants you to strengthen relationships between the other provinces by building a trans-Canadian railway, save the country and win a bronze medal by connecting Halifax. So Halifax is here to um, in Vancouver, which must be you know over here somewhere. And hauling six loads between the two cities. So six loads are going to probably take a year to get through. I'm going to have to have them connected well and truly before 1896. So for silver, um, my company net worth needs to be at 20 million. And for gold, my company needs to be at 50 million. So I'm going to have to... This one's going to be um, a fair bit of work, I think. Because, 50, you know, raising myself from wherever I am now, which is... Now, um, lucky Van Horn gives me 20, a 15% cheaper um, mountainous... Tr or track building and mountainous track building 20% cheaper. So... I'm glad I got him um, now because you know I've got I've got a new I've got a new train I've got 10% bonus speed and I also have um, you know 15% cheaper track building which is better than the last one anyway so um, I'm I'm going to start by issuing bonds straight away and probably um, some, some stock because I don't actually need um, a high share price this time so now I have I have um access to every land and I was just that's what I was trying to check um, what I did want to check though was my current worth so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm currently worth um, probably about 400 grand probably, oh maybe near 900k cash so I'm worth about a million dollars at the moment so I'm gonna have to times myself by 50 so Halifax is here uh, Fredericton is here so I'm gonna be but I don't want to start there because I want to start somewhere I'm gonna make a lot of money um, we've got Quebec and Montreal and Ottawa, which could be um, potentials for um, growth. But I'm just going to keep having a quick look around um, because I know I know how crucial it is. So I can't get I can't get down there. Now what was that? They were all they're all in um, Canada. Yep. So I do want to start somewhere. Where I'm going to make a lot of money straight away. So we've got um I don't have access to the United States, but we have. Some, uh, we have a sheep thing here and uh, some goods here and in Saskoon and Regina. They don't have a whole lot of people, but we have some more um, sheep here. We have some, I think here's probably going to be a good spot to start. Um, and we have this, this steel here that we can try to uh, work with a little bit later on. Um, not that I'm really sure where we can get some iron and coal from, but let's let's start here um, with North Battleford um, and their textiles mill. We've got, what do we, if we have any? Oh, there's some there's some um, iron there as well. So let's let's um, see what we've got. 
I don't want to connect. I want to connect um, these up, but I don't want to hit um, this one here. So we are connected in North uh, Battleford. And then we need to be connected down in Regina as well, in particular. Oh, there's some coal here as well. I can see um, this coal. And that is going to make me a pretty happy person because it means that I can actually use that steel. So we haven't got that um, disconnect, but that's okay because I'm going to use it here because there'll be demand for um, grain going through the roof. And we have a sheep um, and a, a bakery. So Next is Saskoon. And I can get I can get to that by, by um, not paying too much. But in saying that, if I want to, um, I want to make a bit of a, like a highway kind of thing. So, so Saskarin is here, and we've got the oil there. Not, I don't know whether we can do with oil at the moment. We could actually get that um, that bit of cattle cattle in there. But I'm not going to worry. Oh, actually, oh, there's um there's thing up there, so. I'm going to leave it at Saskoon. Although I can see up here we've got um, a lot of wood. So I can use that to fuel my economy. Um, so I'm going to, going to actually um, have it like this. It probably isn't going to be um, the best for running these goods, but that wood is um, very promising. I do want to go, I do want to go that way because I want it to be a, um, a system that I have to turn around for. So we now have um, a connection. We've got some coal here and we've got some some um, iron here, and do these guys want steel? Is the question that I have to ask. Um, no one wants steel, so for now we'll leave it. The uh, we'll leave this steel off the radar because we're going to need to have um, some tools, but and stuff to keep that going. So we're going to start with um, the sheep. We'll do the sheep first. So we we'll come from here. So we'll go with the American train. Oh, I thought we got a new train. Um, oh, I was sure I clicked the one that I got a new train. So, well, I just, um, I think, I, yeah, I just built two trains by accident. So, we're going to start with Regina sending um, a full train of coal, I mean, um, wool. We'll turn that into goods and then we're going to sell it back to, um, who's going to pay the most for them? So, goods is at three here and goods is at um, three here as well. So, what we can do is we can just sit, we can just run it straight between each other for the uh, moment, and this one here is going to run. Now we don't have any. Um, now that's the concerning thing. We don't actually have any um, cattle connected to our our system just yet, so we might have to fix that. We want this one to be a priority because it's going to make us the most money probably. So we've got some cattle down here and we have some cattle up here. Um, but I'm not going to connect them ones just yet because it's going to cost me quite a lot to get across that river. So let's um, let's leave that off the radar and we'll put in all these all these delicious, um, beautiful um, lumber mills um, or lumber mill fuels. So we've got, um, I'm going to run a single train track because I really want that one to be connected. Yep, so um, before we've got like a massive amount of logs coming through here, and we've got this lumber mill really close, and everyone usually wants lumber. So, yep, so I'm going to run as many trains as I can between those two. So we'll start this way. We'll go um, uh, hit up some logs. We're going to turn those straight into lumber, and, and then that lumber is going to turn into nothing because um, we're just going to sell it off. And I just saw oil. And I'm going to use that oil somewhere. Um, I'm not quite sure where yet, um, but I will try to do something with it. It won't make me a whole lot of money, but it will just be you know another source of um, funding coming through. I've closed my dividend, but I'm not too worried about um, my shareholders this this time around. So we have yeah, so we have a bit of um, we'll have plenty of logs coming through there sh pretty quickly. Um, this one's going to. This one costs an extra five grand, but it's, it's going to give you a whole lot more speed here. So I might actually make myself one eighteen wheeler. Now instead of going to North Battle for this time, we're going to go to Regina, and we'll start her up there like that. So that should keep um, the log production at a at a stable level. And I'm going to connect up Prince Albert next. So 
the plan at the moment is just to make a little bit of money um, so that I can do something with that money. So Prince Albert, I wonder if I can, I'm, I'm hoping I can connect a um, station from this side of the river. Yep, so, we're, so we are connected. Um, now hopefully we can, um, we can run some, something across there. I don't know. So it's going to be a bit of a concern to get. Um, oh, that's probably okay. That's probably the best we're going to get. But as far as I know, we don't actually have to. Oh, we do. There's all these places up here. Damn, I should have uh, thought a bit more about this one and put that one, put the station there, so we could have ran. So apparently it's not going. To, oh no, it is. It's going to go across straight across there like that. So that'll make me happy. I just had it there. No. It's, um, yeah, like that. So we will work on that um, for a bit later on. Prince Albert will be in the meantime connected. Uh, we've got 15 grand left. We might be able to connect him up. Not quite. Okay, they will make him the, the next priority. We're going to um, make this one a double. I don't know why I'm buying shares, but I will anyway. Make money and rich in the meantime. I suppose if the share price goes up, then I can always issue more shares because um, I don't really care about my shareholders for this one. Now, first things first is to run. Now, we don't have any, um, I just realized we don't have any uh, sanding or water towers. So, we might put them in Saskoon. Now, what do we got here? Oil is at five here. So, we're not going to do a whole lot with oil for the moment. So, we just had a bit of money come through then, which is going to be enough for me to build these tracks. And hopefully, build um, another train. So, run an Americano. Um, they don't even call it Americano, but it kind of sounds cool. So, we're going to run like that. So, the concern is for us is to make money. So, we want our shares, um, our company to be worth a lot of money. So, I don't mind buying a lot of um, a lot of these buildings because at the end of the day we are going to have them uh, roll in the dough for us and as long as we're making profits then we're, we should be okay so we don't need to have another train come from here um, we'll have an American American C so Prince Albert only has one so we'll run it to Regina again it is going to reduce the demand, and I am going to try. I mean, at some stage, I'll rework these, um, these these trains, so that we are not having, you know, a lot, a lot of lumber going to places like Regina, who doesn't even want lumber anymore. So we'll try to connect up more towns in the near future. Like um, Calgary is, I think, it's going to be next on my list because of the fact that we have that steel sitting there, and the pass as well. Oh, it's got some, it's got some sheep here, so we're quite close to that one. So we might actually do that one first. I don't have enough money for that apparently. So we'll just leave it there. So we'll start with um so yeah, so investors are excited. Um and we should see. So our logs are um they're okay here for the moment. Um but yeah, you know, what's the easiest way to go across do you reckon? Probably maybe like that. Yeah, so we can we can go across there a bit later on when we want to. But the pass is about to be um in our scheme. And I'm thinking a small station, or like a medium station, will uh, suffice the pass. So now the pass probably doesn't want lumber, but I'm gonna send some to it anyway. Um with one more so this one oh this one here's still making a bit of money off that lumber. So we might but there is probably enough room, I think, to maybe that pulp wood I really want to do something with, but it's not going to have any um, any any effect for the moment. So we'll leave that. Um, but I think we probably can run one more um, successful train off uh, Prince Albert. Worst case scenario is that we can send it away. So we're going to send that to the pass. And the pass has um, some sheep, so we're going to run. Oh, we don't have enough money to run it just yet. 
So we've just split two for one, so we must be doing okay. So the pass um, is we're going to run an American C from the pass down to North Battle Line and then back up to Prince Albert because I think Prince Albert would like some, some goods. Um, oops, um, we don't really, and, and that's partly on the way, so it won't be too much of a detour. So goods were at EF5. Yeah, so most places probably don't want him. Yeah, goods are at five here, and uh, goods are at five here as well. So we're going to need to get some more sheep in this, in because goods um, are worth, they're, they're valuable. They, they, they are, people like goods, simply because they are goods. And we don't have any, I'm trying to get who has the most demand for um, passengers. So we've got Regina. So I might run a train between um, Prince Albert, so a cheap train, between Prince Albert, oh, actually, and the pass. The pass, Prince Albert, and Regina. Simply because you don't want to um, see all that, that those um, the passengers there being wasted. So we've got some wool. We've um, got some more wool going through there. So this one should be storming the money, but it's not, which is okay. And we've got more. We've got a lot of lum um, potential lumber to be made, but not a lot of people are going to want it now. Yeah. So Calgary, I'm going to put in a station straight away. Um, I probably won't be able to build anything just yet. Oh, I'm going to have to put it down there so I can get everything. Oh, there's actually a sheep station just there. I'm going to try to jump on board that one. Now, the concern is that I'm not going to be able to get out. I, can, I think I can... I think there is okay for getting in and out of um, Calgary. So the question I have is whether I want to go to something else. Do I want to go to Red Deer and then to Calgary, or do I want to, um, I think I might actually, because we'll, we'll go up straight up through here like this, and then we'll run up along there like that. Because we want to do, we want to, um, we want to get as many passenger trains and stuff going as we can, because we know that passengers and um, that are going to give us a fair, so passengers from Calgary, we've got a fair few, so we've got a fair bit of money now. Oops. And we might uh, we'll run up through Red Deer like that. I'm going to run straight across to. I did want to run it kind of like a, like a circle. Oops. Um, like that. So there we are. We are connected to Calgary. We're connected to uh, Red Deer. Um, it does have a it does have some wood there that I could could use, but I'm not going to worry too much about it because I can't do a whole lot. Although. It probably does. Yeah, it probably does want some lumber. So I should have actually built a. I might um, turn that one into a large station. It's going to cost me a little bit, but probably worth it long run. Yeah, there we go. So because that lumber mill um, is going to is gushing in cash there, so I'm going to buy that straight away. Um, and hopefully it will. So we're looking at eight hundred thousand here. So we. So. It's going to be gush, so it's going to be rolling in money for us. So we will um, jump on board that one as fast as we can, and we still have um, some pass a lot of passengers coming from Prince Albert, and a lot of logs coming from there. So we can send another train. We'll send a um, eighteen wheeler, or eight wheeler. Should learn how to read, shouldn't I? To um, Saskatoon, then down to Calgary, because Calgary isn't getting any uh, lumber at the moment, and it's quite a large place. So. I feel like we could get some. Now we will send that back there, and we'll uh, drop them off at Saskoon on the way. And I might even make one more of those trains because Calgary is quite a fair way away. So the distance it's going to take to get to there, and um, it does want oil as well. So we might um, try to utilize this oil at Saskoon um, to make just that little bit more money. So. We'll get um, some Saskoon oil, send it to Calgary. Oops, no, not passengers just yet. Although we do need to run some passengers too. Um, so Calgary has, now, let's send, let's um, get some goods for Calgary as well. So Calgary down to North Battleline. So we're gonna send some more wool and we are going to receive some goods because Calgary probably has a regular demand for those as well. Calgary goods, where are you, five? 